graduates may be prepared for college when it comes down to academics, but being ready financial for those responsibilities there, that might be a different story. Financial planner Scott Braddock joins us this morning with three things students should know before classes in the fall. First off, good morning to you. Good morning, Devante. And I want to ask you, why is it important to have that money conversation prior to that child going to off to school? Absolutely. So it, it's really important to have those money conversations prior to them to, uh, going off to the dorms. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to sort of set them up for a strong financial future, and the sooner they start practicing healthy financial habits, right. they're, they're going to be able to do just that. So uh, we want to have those conversations as soon as we possibly can with them. And then three lessons, right? Yeah, absolutely. So the first lesson that I brought for you today is create a budget. Uh, so if we sit down with our college student and we talk about the uh, anticipated expenditures that they have on mm -hmm. things such as transportation, uh, school supplies, and we have to factor in entertainment there as well yeah. too, right? That's very uh, true. So if we sit down and, and we can have the student commit to the budget and the parents or guardians as well, uh, what happens, what we see happen is when folks start paying attention to how they're spending money, they can start to see how they can save money as well and cut out expenses that aren't essential. Uh, and to help folks today, your viewers, if they go to scottbraddockfinancial.com, uh, on the landing page there's a link that they can click on and it'll bring up the worksheet that we use for families when we sit down okay. with them to create those same budgets. And then step two or lesson two, be careful with the credit. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, no surprise that more than half of college students these days have credit cards. Uh, so we can help them be responsible. Uh, the first thing that we can do is let them know that if they pay the debt off at the end of each month, mm -hmm. that means no debt is moving forward and they're not having to pay extra money towards interest. Very true. Right? And at the same time that we're exercising that, uh, we're strengthening credit. And so that's going to help these students to be able to lease apartments for the first time after school. And it's also going to help them buy cars and things of that nature. And the nice thing about that is the parents won't have to co-sign. Uh, so that, that's a plus thing. Because the credit's right? Really the good. stronger the credit, yeah, absolutely. And then read that fine print, too. Oh, my gosh. It's so important. <laughs> There's a lot of excitement around that time, the students, the parents. Uh, but we want to do due diligence and make sure we're reading the fine print in those uh, documents. We want to know the interest rate. That's very important to know what the interest rate. It seems counterintuitive, but, again, a lot of excitement around that time. We also want to understand the grace period, and that's the time in which the student graduates to the point when that first payment mm -hmm. is due. Now, a since student loans did a, a research, and they studied undergrads, and only 32 Two percent of them realized that loan interest started to accrue at distribution of that of those <laughs> funds. Right, so there's things that they can do there if they if they if they know. So knowledge is power there. And if one thing you want to let the viewers go away with this morning, what's that one thing with this topic? Well, absolutely. You know, knowledge is power. I've always had a passion for uh, education and growth. That's why I teach at the local college campuses here mm -hmm. on topics that like Social Security and, and retirement. So right. we just really want uh, students to know that there's there's things that they can do right there at the dorms to help themselves get ahead. Good. Right. And uh, one thing that they can do is they can budget to pay the interest on their student loans per month. Why they're in the dorms, and that's a huge advantage in helping to manage those those loans when they uh, get out of college. Scott Bright, we right. appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Devonta. I enjoyed it. Let's Thank send you. things over to Brian for a check of the forecast. Brian.